Good morning. Welcome to the Howdy Movie Podcast on Tuesday, December the 26th, the day after which I hope was a fabulous Christmas for you. Keep Christ in your life. Keep your family close. Welcome to the podcast. I was going through the news on the weekend, imagining what it was like in the Middle East in a war-torn zone during the Christmas time, which is horrid. But I was struck by a little article stating that a Harvard alumni went to the Harvard board and told them not to fire Claudine Gray, the president of Harvard, who make a total ass out of herself in front of Congress testifying on, on the demonstrations at Harvard for pro-Palestinian, pro-terrorist, anti-Jewish, kill the Jews that's going on on campus. She failed miserably, had no answers. And it was found out that she plagiarized a lot of works that she did to get to where she is. And yet she's still there. Why is that? Who is this alumnus who went there? Well, it finds out that the alumnus is not a, no one other than Barack Hussein Obama, a friend of Iran, a friend of Palestine, a friend of those people in the Middle East that are f sponsoring terrorists. And he told them not to fire her. Now, when the next president comes in, you listen to him. But I'm just thinking, the president of the University of Pennsylvania resigned because she gave sort of like the same inept testimony. Of course, she wasn't a plagiarist like Gray was. She didn't get her position by lying like Gray did. But the big difference is she's white. Did a black woman benefit from the race card that Barack Hussein Obama played? Sure looks like it. Why didn't he go to Pennsylvania? I understand it's not his school. God knows what his school is. Try to account for every year of your life. I'm sure you can. Memories. Try to do that for Obama. See what you come up with. A lot of gaps. The race card. Congratulations, Barack. You show your true colors. Watch the Howdy Boomy podcast on the Howdy Boomy channel on YouTube. Go to howdyboomy.com. Buy the book, The Blood of Aquarius, one of the great novels about the baby boomer generation. Have a great week. God bless you. God bless America.